how hot are people across America for him to run? Well, Marquette University Law School did a poll. They just released the results yesterday. 70% of respondents don't want to see Trump mount another run for the White House. Which look, that is, I would assume every single Democrat who responded to that said no. But that's also a significant chunk of Republicans who aren't interested and why not? He lost the last election. It's like the people who wanted Hillary to run again. She had her chance, why do you want her to lose potentially? Yeah, is he gonna become the next Adlai Stevenson? Um, that's another like, Shakespeare character, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, good move, give us a good go. Uh, but uh, Trump, I love his like, look, now watch this, now watch me hit, hit this drive moment where he's like, playing <laughs> golf. And and you ever like really want to say someone say something to someone and you want to tell them off? And as you find yourself doing it, that cool thing gets your blood going and your heart pumping so much that you like kind of you're just you're too try hard in your delivery. That was Trump because uh-huh. he was like 45th and 47th, and then he like basically goes into a sprint back to his golf ball. <laughs> <laughs> and 47 and all his yes men are like, yes, King, King hit it, hit it to hundy, oh. tee it off. It's so pathetic. It's like Jordan Peterson saying about Joe Rogan, like Joe Rogan's so strong and them going, Donald mm-hmm. Trump plays golf with me. I know, And there's like six people in that group and you should only really have four. And so it's gonna be the <laughs> slowest, worst you- sixsome. You are an expert on golf. Do you think you could take Trump? Trump, golf? it's actually the most annoying thing about Trump is that his his, his swing is fine. Like he's yeah. good at golf. I hear he's he not cheats. bad. I hear he cheats. Oh, absolutely. Which means he needs to, which means maybe you could take him. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I totally agree. Totally weak. Um, now, uh, that is two bits of bad news for Trump. He is trailing a generic Republican. He's trailing Biden. I guess his third three bits is 70% of America, according to the most recent poll, doesn't want him to run. However, the joke might very well be on us in the end because I got one more bit of bad news for you. And this is the most obvious thing in the world. I mean, we have been we have been predicting this with every news development over the past year. The generic congressional vote, so sort of like if you just ask in general, do you want the Republican congressional candidate to win or the Democratic candidate? Looks as of right now in an accumulation of polls on real clear politics, it looks like this. That is not good. I mean, look, the Republicans have have been winning for a while, but I mean, if, if you go back to early last year, the Democrats are up by five, six points. Now they're down by four points at this point, 4.1 points. And so it's that and it's the historic pattern of you know generally turning against the incumbent president and it's extra voter suppression and making it more difficult to register and all that. I mean, these two things could combine for an absolutely devastating swing in the House and likely in the Senate as well. I saw a poll just recently. Was like a response to how happy are you are you like in general, and it was worse numbers than we've had in literally decades in this country. And obviously, we're in a pandemic and all that, and but it, this is not looking good. We'll get to 2024, but first you have to get through 2022, and it's just going to be absolutely devastating. P, I think people are just done with pandemic life, and there that is a real feeling that people have, and there's not much you can really do about it. Um, and when the reason that DeSantis polls a little higher is because people generally have this idea that he lets you do more during a pandemic. And the reality is all the stuff that AOC was doing in Florida, eating outside, hugging people, being maskless outside, like that's legal in New York. Like Chris Hayes was tweeting, I, yeah, I just played basketball and took the subway today. Like you can do all that stuff. It's just fictional, but people, people aren't happy with how things are right now. And I get it. I get it. Yeah. It's really difficult, I, but yeah, I get that. But I just—it's so frustrating that like pe- people act as if there is a lockdown anywhere. There isn't. It's—it's it's made up, or that vaccine mandates are are like stomping up. Nobody's required to get it. Like it's just—it's—it's it's so much fiction. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.